morning, happy Saturday. Um, I'm going running this morning, made myself a big glass of water with some chlorophyll drops just to detoxify my tummy and make it feel, you know, nice and gentle and at ease. It's been a while since I've been running, so today I'm, you know, like, um, excited about it. So let's get ready to run. Good morning guys, it's actually afternoon. Um, I woke up this morning, went out for a run, and I did two miles straight. I'm so proud of myself, I'm so happy. I just feel really good, but the tiredness is kind of getting to me. I made coffee after coming back from the run, um, and then I had a banana and like a handful of um, almonds and cashews, and I just felt really, really good. Um, we are on our way to a coffee shop, and then we're going to this like, New York vintage, you know, um, bookstore, right, bookstore slash record store that I really, really love here in my city. And I just, I just love the space. The owner is amazing as well. So we're going to spend some time in there. It's just been a beautiful morning, um, going now into the afternoon and I feel amazing. I hope you're all having a wonderful Saturday. So today I felt like doing the most minimalist nighttime skincare routine. I just got this toner pad from the skincare brand Gold Kiwi and they're brightening toner pads. I absolutely, absolutely love them. Usually I would put them on my skin like a skincare mask. Um, but today I just wanted to really just get that extra um, dust and all that impurities out instead of like just having it soak on my skin and then I went in with my brightening balm um, vitamin C. This one is a moisturizer, you can use it as a lip balm, you can use it for literally everything and this two have just been my favorite products so far and I wanted to use only them tonight since I am as you can tell I'm super like tired, not too exhausted but I'm getting there and I just wanted my skincare tonight to be really really simple as you can tell really does a number on my skin like just a few rolls of it and i feel like my skin is up and ready i really want to hold everything in with my sweet almond oil and i'm just gonna do a tiny bit because i want my skin to breathe like that's just the tiniest bit That's because I just, I want my skin to be able to hold on to the moisture, but also um, to be able to um, breathe as well, because my skin, you know, has been 
looking for that looking for that like breathing moment um and that's why it's been a bit dull than usual so i really want my skin to have that like breathing room but just to this fantastic i am gonna put on some eye masks just on top because i do feel like my eyes are really dull and i have this one from spa life um they're like two golden masks and i would normally do my eye mask step like before you know my moisturizer and stuff but i do feel like for now it's really like just adding more and i'm gonna have this in for a few minutes while i make myself a cup of tea and just relax for the night well, so that was it for my nighttime skincare routine i hope you have a fantastic lovely night remember to take care of yourself morning happy thursday um i'm actually waiting for my supervisor this morning because we are having a meeting in this building um it's a beautiful morning god is good um i woke up and you know i was feeling like this days when it's gloomy i wake up feeling i get this like heaviness plus you know just um life things in general you just wake up feeling like ah. Oh, you know i could just stay in bed but i woke up i prayed uh, which makes me feel better in the morning and then i um did a bit of stretching i didn't like pull out my yoga mat i did the stretching on my um the rug in my room <laughs> um but that made me like really my body just open up the drive here was relatively easy i called my sister i'm like i'm here already um because it's a bit far away um but i'm so happy i feel really good this morning i made myself a cup of coffee that's one thing i want to do more um make myself coffee at home and then when i'm going out have that like a treat mm. so so good so the past few months haven't been like a smooth ride um but I'm grateful still. I'm grateful. You can only be grateful you're healthy, you can breathe, and just taking that in sometimes can be hard, but you just have to keep going. I was telling my sister yesterday, like, just the process, the process of getting through things, the process of figuring things out until you get to the place where you want to be is really, like, daunting, and you can be like, oh, I'm, like, gonna have to do this. But you know, I'm taking that I have to and bringing in I get to. Asking God, let your will be done in my life and um, you know, let me do my part and God will do the rest. And I just want to remind you that this morning, like wherever you're going through, whatever you're struggling with, whatever's confusing, whatever um, you're trying to figure out, like just go through the process because we all have to do that. I was watching this um, a lady she was talking about how she was engaged for seven years and finally they were getting married and they they got married in miami and in that day in the morning it started rain, raining and she's like why is it raining on my wedding day but then they had this window where there's the other side where they were meant to be because they were having a wedding in the boat the other side where they're meant to be sun was going to be the sun was going to be rising on that side so the event planner kind of like figured it out and told them to go that way and they did the, the uh, like they did their vows with gloomy weather and then finally like just as they finished as you know everyone was getting up to you know like congratulate them and everything the sun just came up and the analogy that she gave is like i've waited all this time i've like trusted the process i've you know just been like this day is gonna come and eventually it's like you get this beautiful sunset and it's like yeah the process might be long the process might be hot but so get to have that process that time where we're able to do 
all of these things you know where we're able to make some sacrifices where we're able to uh cap back on a few things where we're able to figure out what it really is that we want um so i've been thinking about that so anyway i'm gonna go in for my meeting i will talk to you guys soon <laughs> Hey guys, so I just finished my session at the hospital. I usually come in for a six month checkup just to see everything. My iron is usually low, so they check on that. But I just had an amazing conversation with my doctor um, and it just made me think about how I am very like, not even afraid. I'm just like literally frightened by change and um, my doctor, who's been my doctor for years now, is retiring, she's leaving, and that just made me so, so sad, um, and even talking to her today, I was holding back my tears, but she's like, don't worry, I've put you with another great doctor, I'm sure you love her, she worked in Kenya before, which is where I grew up, um, so I'm excited, like, she made me just feel so comfortable, and I feel so, so lucky after speaking with her, you know, I, like, talk to her about everything, and I just I love love my doctor so much so when I read the letter in the mail because I got the letter in the mail and she you know was pretty much um, telling her patients me included um, that she was leaving and she's leaving in May like it really literally made me like tear up almost um, but just seeing her today like she just affirmed me reassured me and just like I feel so grateful to have her as my doctor and I cannot even say enough thank yous to her because she's just amazing, amazing and I feel great after coming out of the hospital which is really, really good. Um, but yeah, like she's told me embrace change, don't worry about it, like you're young, you've got so much of life ahead of you and I'm like, no, I'm thinking about different timelines in my head. Um, but we just need people to remind us. We need those like silent, impactful reminders in our life, in our lives. And I feel, I feel so much better. So I'm ready to go home. I got my blood work done. My arm is kind of feeling weird, um, but I'm just in here. Um, and I want to talk to you guys on that because I feel like my heart has settled a little bit, and it makes me happy.